now the next thing is basically to get the IP details of the VPN server to which the user is connected according to the user choice of course so we will implement a method for that we will say static future and we can say retrieve IP details it will receive one thing its parameter and that will be the rx ip details now that is something which we will implement now this is basically the model class okay which we will implement now so i will leave it as it is for now let me just implement okay let's implement the ip details uh, model class now so for that purpose all models right click on all models new dot file and we will give it name as ip underscore details or you can say the ip information okay details information means same thing info will be the correct word for it ip info which is basically you know that the user will select any VPN server okay let's say the user select a VPN server for from let's say Bangladesh or Vietnam so each uh, VPN server the user uh, select when the VPN is connected then each uh, network has its own IP address okay each connection has that is when the VPN is connected successfully so each one has each VPN has its own server okay each one has its own country region name city zip code the time zone and the internet service provider even it will uh, give you as a response and yeah so that information basically which is related to the ip so we can just say ip info model class okay so ip underscore info dot dot so what we can do now we can simply say class ip info so the first one we will have let final string country name then the region name and let's define the other variables for example city name zip code time zone internet service provider and query and then in the constructor of this you can say required this dot country name this dot region name let's just copy paste this city name then zip code then time zone internet service provider and country and query now we define these attributes or you can say these variables now with the help of this ip info class we will convert the json data which we will get as a response from the vpn get api okay to the vpn server to which the user is connected okay each vpn server has its own uh, internet service provider or you can see the country name region name city name zip code to which server we are connected okay that is the ip details for each server we have its own IP details now you already know that the response which comes from the API it is basically in JSON format and in order to display it easily on the user interface in our flutter application we basically uh, access it with the help of our these uh, variables so what we can do we can get the data from JSON and that uh, data from the JSON we can assign to the country name region name for example city will be assigned to the city name zip will be assigned to the zip code and so on for the other ones just like we did earlier for the uh, VPN information okay where we uh, basically implement the VPN info model class okay so the same concept goes here so as the information coming from the API as a response for the IP 
the uh, IP info is in JSON format so we, ha we have to get the information from that JSON format and convert it to simple format so that we can display it on the user interface easily say JSON data now as I told you for example uh, JSON data um, for the country we are receiving by the key name country okay so from the JSON we get the country okay from the JSON data we get the country and we will assign this country data which is JSON okay in JSON format and we will assign it to our country name variable so instead of writing this we can simply access it with the help of this variable country name anywhere when we need it whenever we need the IP details we will access it from our this IP info model class with the help of this country name attribute or you can say country name variable same goes for the other ones the region name and the city name remember for the region name this is the keyword okay the response uh, which we get in the JSON format the key name for that is region name okay so if the region name is available then simply assign that region name to it otherwise let's say if somehow the region name is not available then in that case we will assign an empty string to this region name attribute or you can say to this region name variable same goes for the city for the city the uh, key name is city okay which is coming as a response in JSON format from the API so make sure to use the same keys these are really important thing okay so we will get the city assigned to city name variable otherwise if it is not available somehow then we will assign an empty string to this city name then we get the zip from JSON data and we assign it to the zip code variable now let's say somehow if the zip code is not available if it is empty let's say or null so in that case we will uh, simply display any uh, dashes or an empty string you can display or you can just display some static signs that is this is not available or let's say the zip code is private so it will return us null so instead of displaying null we can display static signs or if you want of course you can display an empty string like this it is totally up to you okay then after it comes the time zone okay if the time zone is available then simply assign the value of it to time zone okay we get the value of it from JSON and we assign it to time zone variable or you can say attribute and otherwise if it is not available then we will assign this unknown value to this time zone then the internet service provider we can get the JSON data from it from ISP which is coming as a response from API which means internet service provider okay the key name for this according to the documentation is ISP so that value we assign to this variable let's say if it is not available then we will assign unknown to it then comes the query assigned to query variable and if it is uh, let's say not available then we will just assign this text not available to this query attribute or you can say to this query variable so now let's just get the uh, IP details from the API and then we will convert that JSON data with the help of our this IP info model class from JSON that is we will get the values from JSON and we will assign it to the required non-model variables that is we can x you can say in simple words you can say that we will get the IP details now inside this method okay we are going to retrieve the IP detail so we will get that and you know that that we get in JSON format whenever we retrieve something using API it is usually in JSON format so with the help of our this model class specifically using IP info from JSON we can convert that JSON data to proper normal format okay to proper normal format so with the help of it we can display it on the user interface easily so let's just get that details
so we can say now rx ip info and this is our ip information make sure to import the ip ip info dot dot so ip which is inside the all models all models ip info dot dot okay this one so you can see that so now we can say try catch if any error occur we will get that error message for the error message just for the time saving I'm going to copy this catch snake bar from here and we will pass that here we will say error record and just display that error message okay so simple and so easy otherwise we are going to send a request in order to retrieve the IP details so we can say wet HTTP dot get URI dot parse and the URL will be HTTP colon slash slash IP dash API dot com slash JSON slash so this will basically from here we will get the IP detail and we will assign that to final and we can say response from API you will get the data that is final data from API so you can say JSON decode the response from API which is coming response from API dot body so we assign that to our data from API and then as you know that that data from API which is coming it is in JSON format as I told you so we have to convert it to proper normal format so that we can do it with the help of our this model class IP info dot from JSON will do that for us so what we will do we will simply say that IP info dot from JSON and just pass the data from API to it so it will convert the JSON data which is coming from the API to proper normal format with the help of our IP info model class okay where we have IP info dot from JSON with the help of that and we will assign this data to our this IP information so we can say IP information dot value so in this way we get the IP info or you can say IP information IP details from the API and as you know the data coming is in JSON format so we convert that data to proper normal format with the help of our IP info dot from JSON and we assign it to our IP information dot value.